Thank you to Diedrich Bank, our sponsor for the 2022-23 basketball season. Live for today, bank for tomorrow, member FDI. Yeah!
hard and they did everything that we could do today. Um, I have no shame. I feel just pride for my kids. Um, Nazareth's a great team. We knew that coming in. Uh, we did what we could to prepare for them. Um, I think the kids executed, you know, what we talked about and practiced very well, just like they've done all season. And um, I'm proud that I get to coach this group of kids. I'm also proud that off the floor, they're really, really good kids. And so they just really represent our school and our community in the best way. And um, and that's, that's something that I'm also very proud of. Uh, making history in the program, but also you have a young team that has a lot returning next year. What does that mean to you as a coach? Um, it, it means a lot that I have group a group of kids that um, they are, they did make history. They did set, you know, just, they turned the eyes of Lincoln and hopefully, you know, young girls looking to play sports or get involved in things on us and, and help people to realize that dreams do come true um, with hard work and perseverance. And um, it's just, it's been a dream to be here and to get to play on this big stage. And, and these girls just handled it with so much class and um, they're so humble and, and you know, they just, they really represent our community in the best way. About 45 points in the state semifinal, breaking the state record, and then playing for a state title at 36-0. I know it's not the outcome you wanted, but talk about what this means to the community of Lincoln. Um, I think it's really cool when you're, when we're out there on the floor and we look up and we see, you know, the whole side full of Lincoln Rayla fans, even like, like taking over almost the Nazareth um, side, but I know, this isn't a one-man team. None of this would be possible without my teammates. You know, um, 45 points, that's, that's not possible if I don't have um, people to kick out to, if, people, if I don't have teammates who are constantly driving that are taking the defenders and making them threats and guarding them. I don't think losing is ever easy. Um, you know, it, especially with a group of kids that are as competitive and as passionate as mine. And um, so losing today was not easy. Losing, you know, during a regular season game would not have been easy, you know. But I think that that's one of the great things about having kids that are passionate and competitive is they are going to strive to become better so that they don't have to lose again. And, um, and losing is part of it, you know, that is part of this game. And um, they just, they, they handled it with class. Yes, they were sad. Yes, they were upset. But I think 20 years from now, 10 years from now, they're going to look back and realize what they accomplished. And um, it just takes time. You know, it's just like any kind of injury. At first, it hurts really bad. And after a while, it'll start to heal a little bit. Well, I'm working hard because they want to be back here. They they want to do what Nas did. They want to come back and now and then win. And that and that's what they did last year. And um, and and I, I think that this group of kids, they're not going to stop till they reach every single goal of theirs. You know, I, I try to lead by example. I have Becca here who's more of a vocal leader than I am, but I try to always just do my best and um, lead my team, you know, um, hit, hit the shots and then once I get going, then they get going or vice versa, you know, um, they lead me sometimes. They, they, they push me to be better every single day as I push them. It's, it kind of goes both ways and I'm so fortunate to have these girls here because not a lot of people are fortunate enough to have girls who don't care if someone's getting all the attention. They they don't care who scores. They don't care as long as we're scoring. And I think that's, I have the best teammates in the state of Illinois. Um, it's been like everything, you know, five years from now, we're gonna look back on this. It's gonna be and cra uh, crazy memories, you know, um, my teammates and I, our coaches, the whole town of Lincoln is behind us. And it's just so surreal and just a great feeling to be able to accomplish this. It's not, you know, we, we met our goal. We made it to the state. You know, next year, though, we're, we're going to bring home that state title, and I have no doubt in my mind that we'll be back here again. And your family in attendance, what does that mean to you, knowing the support that you have from all the Yeah, I think I had a whole section. I look out, I see all of my family members right there. I have my mom right on the sidelines um, of, at every game doing the radio. I get texts from all of them. They're all so supportive. I truly, my family is... I'm super blessed. I have one of the best families in the world. Um, I love them all. I think the expectations will be high, and I think that we'll set them on ourselves. Um, 
you know, this year we came in, we had expectations high for ourselves, and I don't think a lot of a lot of people really knew about us. And we put we put ourselves on the map this year, and next year we're gonna be we're gonna come out in full force, and we're gonna be a force to be reckoned with. We'll put in the work this summer. We will take we won't take this game lightly. We'll remember what that felt like, but we'll also remember what it felt like to get here, to get to this point, to win 36 games, 35 games in a row. We're gonna remember all the hard work that we put in and we're gonna cherish that and nobody can take that away from us.